Welcome back to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel. My name is Derek Brown. And in today's video, again, I'm going to run through eight players that you need to be above consensus from ECR and Fantasy Pros and all of this wonderful matchup data. All the things we're going to talk about today all are pulled from the primer. My weekly blood, sweat, and mental tears that I pour into one article for you to use for all of your leagues, all of your lineups, for everything. Head over to fantasypros.com right now and check out the primer. Let's get to these eight players. All right, first running back we got to talk about today, Tank Bigsby, RB27 right now in ECR. And I know he's been the talk of the town. Everybody's talking about picking him up on waivers. We mentioned it on the podcast earlier in the week. And I'm telling you, you need to consider flexing him and getting him into your lineups this week. And is the RB27 ranking a little bit spicy? Sure. I mean, we're talking about knocking on the door of RB2 production, but... What has Bigsby done to push us away from that? He's been absolutely fantastic. Last week, 129 total yards, two scores. We all know that. But on a per-touch basis, he's been awesome. 57 qualifying running backs. Tank Bigsby has been pulling off his best Devon A. Chan of 2023 impression. He's top three in explosive run rate, missed tackle scores per attempt, and yards after contact per attempt. And the matchup this week, I know we're talking about a run defense that has been good at times and bad at times, but you look at the matchup, this matchup is awesome on a, a really small level for Tank Bigsby, looking at gap runs. The Bears have allowed the fourth highest yards per carry to gap runs, as well as the 11th highest success rate to gap runs. That is comprised 67% of Tank Bigsby's carries. Get him in your lineups and enjoy more big plays out of Tank. All right, moving over to the next running back we got to discuss here, Tyler Algier, RB33 in, in ECR on Fantasy Pros right now. And this all comes down to the matchup, people. We've seen good rushing matchups and maybe a lot of positive game script this week for Atlanta that can help prop up the RB2s in offenses. And that's what can happen to Algier this week. If we see Atlanta up big late, you could see Algier salting the clock away and getting 12 to maybe 15 carries in a wonderful matchup. Carolina can't stop anybody on the ground, allowing the six most rushing yards per game. And this also, from a schematic standpoint, lines up really well for Algier. This run defense is allowing the fourth highest yards per carry to zone runs, which has been 79% of Algier's carry volume this year. Get him into your lineups. He scores a touchdown, breaks a long run, maybe two. You're really going to wish you did. Okay, we got a consistent theme of this week's primer video. Braylon Allen, we got to talk about him. And this is really just the RB2s in really good spots on the ground. We have to consider as strong flex plays for week six. Considering you might be hurting at the running back position, you might have players on bye, or both. So Braylon Allen needs to be a player you're considering for maybe an RB2 spot or flex spot for your lineups this week. RB31 in consensus on Fantasy Pros right now. And Braylon Allen on a per-touch basis has been awesome. He's been top 18 in missed tackles, force per attempt, and yards of the contact per attempt. If the Jets want to beat the Bills this week, they need to do two things. One, play really good defense and run the ball. Oh, I sound so old by saying all that. But yes, we need to establish the run this week. And looking at that, that is also going to be a big day for Brees Hall, but also could be for Braylon Allen. The Buffalo Bills have... Been a really good defense overall this year, but they are not good as a run defense, and this has been for multiple seasons. Carrying over into 2024, they're allowing the seventh most rushing yards per game and the seventh highest yards per carry to gap runs, which is 53% of Allen's carry total this year. Raylan Allen could score a touchdown. Be a really strong flex play this week. All right, that's enough running back talk. Enough running back talk for this video. Now we got to move over to wide receivers, and the first guy I'm going to talk about here is Keenan Allen. Wide receiver 41 and ECR and fantasy pros. And I, I know it's been rough, people. I, I get it. Really, the Chicago Bears offense outside of the last two weeks has been pretty rough outside of DJ Moore and some touchdowns for the running backs. Keenan Allen, if there's a get right spot, it is this. This week for Keenan Allen. I know it's been terrible, but I'm telling you to have a little bit of faith in the matchup and the player. All the per route metrics say Keenan Allen is, is firmly still, not in his prime, but still a very effective wide receiver in the NFL and this could be a good get right spot if Chicago wants to go to the playoffs and make noise there they're going to need to get Keenan Allen going and this is a good spot to do it against the Jacksonville secondary that has allowed the seventh highest PPR points per target and the sixth most receiving yards to slot wide receivers consider starting Keenan Allen week six
All right, before breaking into the top four of this video, if you are juggling multiple fantasy football teams and feeling just a tad bit overwhelmed, Fantasy Pros is here to help you simplify things with the Fantasy Pros Multi-League Assistant. You can see the latest news, notes, and rankings for every single player across all of your fantasy football teams. It's all in one spot, making your path to victory clearer and easier. Dive in and let us help you dominate and crush in all of your leagues with the multi-league assistant right now at fantasypros.com slash myplaybook or on the Fantasy Football My Playbook app. Download it today. All right, we've talked about a wide receiver. We've talked about running backs in this video. Let's get to the quarterback position. And I'm going to tell you, you need to be considered starting Kirko Chains, baby. Kirk Cousins, the Cole ambassador himself. And we saw last week, fantastic game for Kirk Cousins. Nobody will tell you otherwise. He's been playing better as we've been moving through this season. And those Achilles worries are getting further and further and further into the rear view. And Kirk Cousins has another wonderful matchup. Again, positive game scripts. We're hoping for Tyler Algier. That can happen by Atlanta putting up a ton of points for either Bijan Robinson or Kirk through the air early in this game. Because Carolina, again, bad run defense, their pass defense. <laughs> Hasn't been much better, people. Allowing the sixth highest yards per attempt, the second highest success rate per drop back. Kirk Cousins can be a QB1 in fantasy in week six. All right, moving away from the quarterback position over to tight ends. And I know it's still nasty out there, people. I get it. I've been having tight end problems in my fantasy leagues too. If you are having this issue as well as dealing with bye week problems this week or injuries, consider starting Dalton Schultz. He's probably on the waiver wire in a lot of different leagues and people are saying, oh, well, he hasn't done anything this year. Okay, let's talk about the situation in Houston. Nico Collins on the IR. Stefan Diggs in this matchup, probably going to get shadow coverage from Christian Gonzalez, who will follow him into the slot. Dalton Schultz, this is where you come in. If we're talking about, well, what are we... If C.J. Stroud is going to drop back and pass, who is he going to look for if Stefan Diggs is wrapped up? There is no Nico Collins. Tank Dell, we need you to step up this week too, but this all comes back to Dalton Schultz in a really good matchup. New England has had issues covering tight ends this season, allowing the third highest yards per reception and the seventh most receiving yards to tight ends. Dalton Schultz is a tight end one this week. Consider him for your lineups. Okay, now we got to break into the top two players for this week's video. First guy I got to talk to you about, and there's already some rumblings out there, some buzz, shall we say, about getting the ball into this player's hands. And we got to talk about wide receiver Calvin Ridley, currently wide receiver 35 and ECR and Fantasy Pros. I get we all have Will Levis concerns. I've been very vocal about mine. I'm not a huge fan of the player, but the matchup is right for Calvin Ridley to go off this week we've all been saying start all your wide receivers against the indianapolis colts okay well that's going to trickle back to calvin ridley not only have they struggled just guarding perimeter wide receivers in general giving up the sixth most receiving yards per game to the position but indy is not good against guarding against the deep ball and ridley owns the deep role in this passing offense leads the team in deep targets indy is allowed the most deep passing yards in the nfl there's ever a time to consider Calvin Ridley for your lineups as a wide receiver two, wide receiver three, depending on if you need upside this week, it's in week six. Okay, so the number one player for this week's video that I'm going to tell you you need to consider for wide receiver three or flex play this week, and it's got to be the guy that stole all of our hearts and said, oh, I got game winning touchdowns for days last week, it's Jalen Tolbert, man. Wide receiver 40 in ECR, that is disrespectful considering what he did last week and what he's done this season and the matchup this week people you cannot run the ball against the detroit lions dallas doesn't want to run the ball they're top five in neutral pace and passing rate they're gonna chuck it this week there is no brandon and cooks as well as if you look at the schematic matchup for tolbert it's in his favor since week three, Detroit has the sixth highest too high rate in the NFL. Why does this matter? Because against too high, Tolbert's numbers go up. He's had an 18.4% target share. His yards per route run has gone above 1.8. These are strong metrics as well as, again, 
Detroit is giving up production to perimeter wide receivers, giving up the third most receiving yards per game to the position. Dallas is going to have to score points and move the ball through the air. Yes, that's going to be CeeDee Lamb. Yes, that's going to be Jake Ferguson. That's also going to trickle back to Jalen Tolbert. In a consolidated passing offense, we know Dallas is going to throw. Get Tolbert into your lineups for week six. All right, everyone, those are the eight players that I'm above ECR. I'm telling you, you need to get into your lineups for week six. Head over to fantasypros.com, read the primer right now, as well as use the multi-league assistant. Help us help you juggle all of your fantasy teams. Hope you get all the W's. See you in week seven.